Welcome to Geek Buzz. I'm Nixie Pixel here to talk about nerdy stuff that tickles my neurotransmitters like meeting a Dalek and getting electrocuted because I'm kind of into that. Well, only a little bit. We're making a note here. Huge success. All right, let's Brought to you by Click It or Ticket. I'm not sure if you guys go to any of these, but you know there's expos and conventions out there for all sorts of niches like comic books, paper books, board games, tabletop games, video games, flying spaghetti monsters, science, aperture science, all that jazz. So I'm very pleased to announce that over last weekend I went to a convention that was dedicated to just geeks in general. If you haven't heard of the Maker Fair before, consider this a learning experience. And if you have, well, you'll know to strap on that hazmat suit and prepare yourself for the electricity, gasoline, fire, and uh, soldering. I love soldering. I'm really bad at it though. That's from soldering a computer case. Can you see that? Now I'm gonna take you into the inner workings of Maker Fair. It happens all over the nation, so odds are you'll find yourself saying this very thing when you're there. This is the most serene, trippy thing I've ever seen. Check it out. Isn't it beautiful? This was my first time going, and it was just awesome to find an expo where the makers put the madness of their minds on display, like this light forest cathedral from Oh Yeah Toys. Oh no, this glow asparagus is a bit limp. Okay, they're all better. Well, this is all fine and dandy, but not all of Maker's Fair is so soothing. Hit it! The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. From Tesla coils to advanced robotics, I think the makers in this fair rode the line between genius and insanity rather nicely. It's none other than Blackbeard's chest, salvaged from the depths of Davy Jones' locker. And another trend, in case you haven't noticed, people like to make a lot of shit. For instance, whoops, that's a cleavage shot. I'll be honest here, I don't really have an eye for seeing a project through to its logical conclusion, so one of the things I really loved was seeing how proud people were of their inventions, no matter how small. So you may be wondering why this is called Tape City? Let me show you. Everything is entirely made from tape. Looks like it took about 20 minutes. Oh wait, you have to have tape people for Tape City. Well, firstly, what is this? They're LEDs. Yes, they're flexible, wearable LEDs. Right. Here we go. Uh oh. Yep, we're aiming for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm on up. We'll go away. <laughs> but some of these constructs were anything but little. They towered over people and took years and years to make. And if I had a hunch, some have even been to Burning Man. Why, you ask? Starting the danger. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> again, again! Ooh, man. A fair, a festival, an expo, a bazaar. Whenever you call it, I think we need more of it. With all the errands, work, commuting, and jobs we have on a daily basis, it's easy to stifle our inner child. 
I remember writing and drawing stories all day when I was younger, and I never thought it was a waste of time. I made this video because I think its premise is important. Don't let yourself stop dreaming and imagining. I mean, if you want time, you have to make it, right? When's the last time you made time to create things or admire someone else's creations? On last week's Geek Buzz, I asked if you could make anything, what would it be? And here's what you inventors had to say. That seems like it would be pretty badass, Orion BC84. However, you might want to have a disclaimer that people shouldn't use the heated boots on, like, I don't know, a frozen lake. And MH Sharpshooter MH, how is thermal depolymerization used right now if they use it at a turkey plant? I want to know. I hope you guys enjoyed your virtual ticket to Maker's Fair this year in San Francisco. There's actually a lot of other locations where you guys can experience this, so I'm gonna put it in the description below. Check that out. Make sure to give the llama some love, you know the drill, and subscribe. Until next time, talk nerdy to you later. If you notice I sounded a little bit sad in my video, um, pro tip for redheads, if you're gonna wander outside for 14 hours, don't forget to put sunscreen on. SPF a million, please. Growing up, my dad used to tell me that the car wouldn't move unless all of our seatbelts were on, which I found out was a blatant lie. But I did learn some truth, which is motorists are 75% less likely to be killed in a rollover crash if they're buckled up. Not to play a naggy parent here, but you should buckle up every time you go out, day or night. It doesn't matter. Just pretend that your car doesn't start without it. That worked for my dad. And if that doesn't motivate you, cops all across the country are prepared to dish out tickets for people that aren't wearing their seatbelts. They're giving you no warning or excuses, so click it or ticket, please. I want you to be around for my videos. Awesome videos.